Hello YouTube, this is Tracy here, and uh, I have to say that I just woke up about an hour ago, so uh, forgive me if I look like I did, but anyway, I just got my new wig, and this is another wig review, okay? This is the Biche 303 Lace, and I got her in a DX1B Red. Okay, this is just like the one that I did in purple, only this is the 1B on top and red underneath. And she is 35 inches long, just like the purple one. And she brushes quite easy. She is bone straight. You can curl her. Let's see. It says she is Futura Fibers. Curling iron safe up to 400 degrees and you get 2 inches of deep lace. And I put that part in there, and I also put the uh, eyeshadow is what I use, okay? Because there's a lot of different shades you can go with that. And it comes with two small combs on the side, which you don't really need because this wig cap is so tight. It has a lot to do with how much hair you have on your head. I think they're assuming that people of color don't have that much hair, which is why they're wearing wigs, so they assume a small cap, we can all live with that. Well, I have hair on my head, and this cap is tight, and it is tighter than the purple wig, so I don't know why, but anyway, here goes. They also give you a 10% coupon that lasts until January 17, 2014, and that would be HairToBeauty.com. Okay, I don't work for them. They didn't send me the wig. I purchased it, and it was $32.99, okay, and I got a little discount on it. Um, and because of the coupon code at the time. Okay, so anyway, let's get to the wig. This is what she looks like. She is 35 inches. Okay, down to there. I'm wearing some black pants, so you can't really see. Okay, I'm going to try to adjust this so you guys can maybe see the color better. Okay, and the part I put in there uh, it can be shifted and adjusted to wherever you want it, you know. Uh, she's made a lot like a whole lace type of wig that's hand tied. She reminds me so much of Elf, and I have Elf, and uh, the quality is very much the same, very much the same. And I want to show you what she's really like, okay. I bought another Bichet wig some time ago, and this was her. Alright, so this one also is 1B. And she also has the red underneath. The only difference between this wig and this wig is that this one's wavy. Okay, this one has a deep wave. So that's the only difference between the two. And the purple wig, if you look on my uh, channel, you'll see I have a review for the purple one. It's the same thing. It's Lace 303. All right, and again, I want to show you guys that she is very brushable. I am very concerned that the red lighter colors as you know in synthetics tend to show tangling a lot easier than the darker colors show it so you do have to have this brush in order to maintain this wig throughout the day and I do have to carry it. When I wore the purple wig I had to carry that brush all day and I had to use it because the hair would kind of clump or at least in my imagination it would kind of clump and I was assuming people could see that, so I was often brushing it because it was tangling around itself. And long hair is going to do that, whether it's yours or a wig, it's going to do that. Okay, and I'll show you guys what the back looks like. Okay, so I hope that gives you guys a greater idea of uh, what she looks like. Uh, the lighting in my house isn't so good right now because it's kind of overcast outside a little bit and I'm not really getting the light on my face or on the wig so much. So this is her, alright, and I have about four other wigs I'm going to order and I will be doing reviews on those as well. Most of them are going to be long straight wigs and uh, no one seems to do them except me 
So uh, if you want to stay tuned and you want to see some long straight wigs of different colors and ombre, I'm your girl. I'm the one that will probably do